Hey, PC Games Girl here, and hello and welcome to Season 1, Part Number 4 of The Lord of the Rings Online. Alrighty, just getting my Hobbit present, and yay, I got money. But right off the bat, the first thing we are going to do, I realized <laughs> in the last part that I did not actually put the new um, chest piece on Mr. Thanalos, so, and I sold it, so he has the original crappy armor from that, and I do apologize for that, you guys, I'm sorry. I was not paying attention to that kind of thing. <laughs> Oops. Okay, but in any case, what I'm going to be doing is getting Mr. Thanalos his ability to make crafting items. So first of all, we're going to be going over this way because there's someone over here who can give us a quest relevant to that. And that's his name there. I'm not going to try pronouncing it because I've only had one cup of coffee. <laughs> Mind my words, traveler. He says, Welcome to Felithlorn, Thanalos. You can see the harbor city of Kelendim up the hill to the northeast, and the refuge of Dualond is further to the north. But I can see that you have a desire to fashion goods, to practice your ability to create things of substance and use. It is my recommendation that you visit my friend Gwalath at the terrace overlooking Kelendim, where many useful and comely goods are fashioned. Go up the hill to the northeast into the city and follow the path to the left as it winds up the hillside. Atop the stairs, follow the path southward to the terrace. Gwalath will be pleased to help you learn how to begin your journey as a craftsman. Okay, I did not understand his directions in any way, shape, or form, but I know exactly where he's telling me to go anyway because I've done this so many times, so... <laughs> That's a good thing, right? Okay. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Thanalos. Let's go talk to people so you can learn how to make crafts, for which I am super excited because I want to make him beautiful elvish male armor. Hail, friend, and well met. Alrighty, I'm going to skip over what she says here, but I'm going to scroll through it, so if you have a desire to read it, you can. Alrighty, there we go. Now to talk to this guy, who is the Master of Apprentices. Ooh, I am looking to learn a crafting vocation. Sweet lad Melon, will you stay a moment? He says, You must be Thanalos. I have been awaiting your arrival, and I am very excited to see that our letter found you well. I am... him. <laughs> and I am pleased to make your acquaintance. I am here to help you through the very first stages of learning a craft. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay. Alrighty. Sounds like there's someone else over here. Alrighty, so I want Mr. Thanalos to learn the armorer craft vocation, which will make him be a metalsmith, a prospector, and a tailor. Sweetlad Melon. Alrighty, and just a quick FYI right now, you can read this here all about the crafting vocation, and I will be doing the vast majority of Thanalos' crafting off camera just because it takes a great deal of time to do most of it, but I'll show off how it works in this part. Yay! Okay. I have inferior tools to do this now. Alrighty. Malone, will you stay a moment? Alrighty, you can read that if you'd like, and I'm going to talk to the supplier dude. Mago Vanen, might you spare a moment of your time? Alrighty, and here's the one about tailoring. You can read that if you want. And now last but certainly not least. Sweetlad Malone. Will you stay a moment? Here is the one about metalsmithy. There we go. If you want to read that, there it is. Okay. Now to talk to these people and get these quests going. Okay. Because Thanalos needs better armor. I am just saying that now. <laughs> Alrighty. And this is my skill that I use to track mines, which is the prospecting skill, which I will be using later on quite a lot. Alrighty, now to learn about prospecting, because prospecting is how you get the metals and things so that you can do metalsmithing to make the armor and whatnot. What can I do for you? Alrighty. You can read that if you wanna. Okay. Now I'm opening up this crate. Alrighty, awesome. Now I have all the ingredients necessary to make myself a copper ingot. Now I'm going to talk to the tailor really quick and see what he has to give me. How can I be of service? Alright, there's what he says. Now I'm going to open the crate he just gave me. There we are. 
Alrighty, I have everything I need to make a rough cloth cloak. And now to talk to the metalsmith. What can I do for you? Alrighty, there's what he says. And now I'm going to open up the crate he just gave me. The final crate. Okay, now let me see. I'm going to first make the prospecting thing, which is the copper ingot. And to do that, I'm going to double click the prospecting tools to equip it. And now the T key, like T is in tall. There we go. Come on, pull up. There we go. There's the crafting panel, which you can also pull up using the little um, anvil icon right down here. Now, the prospecting, apprentice, smelting, copper ingot. I like to hide it when crafting because it annoys me otherwise. And I'm going to make one because that's all I need for this little tutorial introduction thing. There we go. And now for my metal smithing, I'm going to equip the smithing hammer. And now I'm going to, what did the smith make? Okay, he wants me to make a bronze helmet. That will be under heavy armor. Let's see, bronze helm, just a normal one, because you see this output thing here? Some of the recipes, you can switch it so you can make different types. So for Thanalos' armor that I'm going to make him, I'm always going to switch it so it's elven, because he is an elf. But for the purpose of this introduction, I need to make a normal, plain, boring one. <laughs> Which I like to think of more as like human make type of deal. Okay, now I have the bronze helmet, and then I will need to go over to a spot where I can tailor. Let's see, where's my tailoring tools? There it is. Alrighty. Now, in order to do tailoring, you need to have a workbench nearby. That's something I did not mention is here's a workbench right here and you'll see I have this buff here that says workbench. I need that if I'm going to do any recipes that need a workbench and for recipes that require a forge I need to be standing near a forge and I'll have this little buff right here. So that's just quick explanation here on that one. Alright now I'm going to tailor really really quick. What did he want? A rough cloth cloak correct? Yes okay good. Make one there we go. So stuff then allows. There we go. Beautiful. And now to give all this crap I just made to the respective peoples. <laughs> what can I do for you? He takes a moment to admire my handiwork and says it is well well crafted. Wow, I can't talk. <laughs> Yay! I have finished the introduction to tailoring. And now I'm going to talk to the supplier over here so he can see my, uh, prospecting. Yes, prospecting. What do you need? Yay, he's also admiring my handiwork and it says it does not have hardly any faults. Yay. That made no sense. It hardly has any faults, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> oh man, I'm in a slightly weird mood, don't mind me. Okay. What do you need? Yay, he says I am well on my way towards becoming a metalsmith. Awesome. I just completed the deed of finishing all the introduction things for that. See, deed completed vocation armorer tier 1. I am now a student of metalwork. And I can wear that title if I want to, but I'm just going to keep him as Thanalos of Rivendell. Oh yeah, and another thing I don't think I've mentioned, but once I reach level 15, I will be able to give Thanalos a surname, which is a last name. So, if anybody has any suggestions for what you want Thanalos' surname to be, go ahead and leave them in the comments. But in all likelihood, I'll just pick one that sounds very elvish to me. <laughs> but if you have any suggestions that sound like elvish surnames, please leave them in the comments. I would like to see them if you have any. You may be of service to me. Yes, I have learned about being an armorer. Okay. Megovanen. Yay! I have ingredient packs. Perfecto. Alrighty, I'm going to really quickly equip my, um... Is this cloak better than the one I have on? Yes, it is. Yes, I am going to be wearing that now. Go away. Is this helmet better? Kind of. I'll wear it. And you can't see it, because if you remember, I have, um... Helmet. I have helmets and cloaks hidden because the helmet he's wearing looks extremely dumb. Like, seriously, look at that thing. Just, just no. <laughs> just, just no. Just, just no. Alrighty, and I'm going to be using some of my um, ingredient packs in order to make Thenalos some 
elvish armor right now. Let's see, is this better than what he's got on? Quite a lot, so I'm making that. And you can see he's just hitting the hammer and anvil. It's not super exciting, but it is what it is. Alrighty, now let's see. Leggings. Okay. Let us use ingredient pack. And then we have one more ingredient pack left. And I think I'll make that for his boots. And then I will be showing you guys the cosmetic system which I talked about. For which I am quite excited because I have a tendency to use that on my characters in Lotro, like, constantly. I'm one of the people who's always trying to make them look amazing. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Now, since this is armor, I need to equip it to him first before I can make him have it equipped otherwise. So I'm going to do that really quick. There we go. And now I'm going to temporarily pull it off of him, even though he is going to be wearing it, don't fret. I'm just pulling it off of him so that I can go to cosmetic outfits, switch to outfit one, and currently outfit one doesn't have anything on it at all, so I'm just hiding the things I want it to not show. And then I'm going to be putting the top there, and you can read that if you want to. And here is his pants and his shoes. So there we go. Now he looks like a much more legit warrior and he's going to be wearing that. And what that will do is make it so that even if I upgrade his armor at later dates and the things he's actually wearing for his equipment are different looking than these, this will still be the outfit that shows up. For my female characters, especially my magicians and whatnot, they often have really silly looking robes on as their equipment, but then I like to give them really pretty dresses and stuff for their cosmetic outfits. And with my male characters, I like to give them super cool looking armor. And that is what I just did for Thanalos, and he looks much better now in my humble opinion. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I'm going to, really really quick before I forget to do it at all, I'm going to be switching out these inferior tools for much better ones because I don't want an inferior smithing hammer or tailor tools or prospecting tools. They can go away. Uh, <laughs> instead, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put the firework thing up there and then I'm going to go talk to the supplier. Suppliers sell the good versions of all of the different tools that you can make. Well, that you need to make stuff, I mean. And you can also, if you is have a metalsmith, if you have a metalsmith like Thanalos is, then you can also make your own tools for your crafting stuff. But I usually just buy them to start out with because obviously he doesn't have any metals or anything on him except for this one piece of copper and that's not going to do me any good at all. So let me see, what on earth do I need to get him again? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, let's see, he is a metal smith so he's going to need a smithing hammer. He is a prospector. I'm in the, in the letter P section, there we go. Prospecting tools, that's the one I'm going to put on him right off the bat because he's going to be using those a lot. Hello, elf! And let me see now. He is also a tailor. Oh, there's a smithing hammer, good. And now QRST, there we go. Beautiful. Now we have all of the tools equipped that we need to have. And I'm going to clear out his inventory of all these nonsense things that he does not need. There we go. I do not need that stuff. It is useless to me. Go away. Okay, and nothing needs repaired at the moment. Fantastic. Alrighty, and what's this? An armorer's guide. Oh, if you want to read that, <laughs> again, here it is. You can pause the video to read it if you want to read it. But I'm going to get rid of it because I have no need of it because I've had armorers before. I know how all the crafting professions work, so I don't want it. Alright. Excuse me. Alrighty, just rearranging the stuff in my inventory just a little bit. And I'm going to be getting rid of this wrapped whistle horse because I have no need of that either. And here is why, you guys. You see this lovely little uh, steed of the Easton meat or whatever the heck it's called that I told you about in the first part? That is going to be Thenalos' steed. I'm going to be going in the Lotro store right now 
and I'm going to be purchasing the riding skill because you have to buy the bleh, you have to buy the riding skill unless I think you're a VIP or something like that. If you happen to be a VIP of this game, let me know how that works because I've never been one, so I wouldn't know. But I am buying the riding skill for 95 turbine points. I'm placing my order. Thank you. And now, Thanalos can ride any horse at all that I have on him. So I am double click that so that I officially have that mount skill. And now I'm going to go into my skills, mounts, and I'm going to get rid of the character panel behind it so I can actually see what the heck I'm doing, and then pull that up there. And now Thanalos has that steed, and I have it set so that my characters can pull up their steeds by whenever I press the R key. Oh my gosh, whoa. The interface for Windfoot is way over there, that's annoying. All right. I'm going to do control and I think it's backslash. It's one of the slash keys. I don't quite remember exactly what the name of it is, but I'm moving the mount thing so that it's in a more normal spot because that's annoying me. There we are. That's better. Okay, guys. So now that we have all that stuff out of the way, Thanalos looks a lot more awesome. He has a horse and he can craft. So this is very good. Getting all the basics of life in Middle Earth done. Alrighty, and normally you can't get a steed until you're able to purchase it from, uh, oh hi Elven Hunter. Uh, you normally need to purchase it from a dude in the very northern part of Bree, but like I said, I have the Riders of Rohan expansion, so that's why I have a horse already. Now, let's talk to Cardivore and f work on this quest. The sorrows of the Eldar are never in. Cardivore says, Ah, hello there. We have not had time to get acquainted. My name is Cardivore, and you are... My choose spare a moment of your time. I have heard that you are well-traveled. Perhaps you have seen my son Averthal on your journeys? I received a message from him saying that he was coming from Dualand to visit, but he has not yet arrived. That is most unlike him. In his journeys here, he oft speaks with the travelers along the road and visits the Vale of Nenhilith with a friend of his, a dwarf named Athel. Athel watches the road and helps the few dwarf travelers who come to Kelandim. Perhaps Aferthal is speaking to him now and has simply forgotten the time. Would you seek him? Head across the woods southwest of Kelandim to the Vale of Nenhilith. There is a small camp of elves there. If you do not find Averthal there, perhaps you will find Athel. If so, speak to Athel and see what news he may have of Averthal. Okay, I'll look for your son. Oh yes, and I right click and then lock the um, epic quests every time just because I don't want them to disappear even if I get a ton of other quests because quests that you have will be will disappear if you have um, more than five on there and then you get another one type of thing, so yeah. Greetings, friend. Will you lend me your ear? Alright, you can read this if you wish to, but basically he wants me to get rid of evil creatures in Them Geller, I think it's called. Alrighty. So I'm going to be doing all that stuff. Yay! Alrighty, so first of all I need to do the quest for... I think his name was Laney the Glade Watcher or something like that. Okay, I'm going to have him walk on the horse for a moment and then run because it was doing weird things with the animations for some reason. <laughs> I do not quite know why, but occasionally it does that and it's really annoying and that's the way to fix it. But anyways, alrighty. We are riding away and it is currently evening in the game. Ooh, a wolf! Yay! Combat in the actual game now, guys! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, I have a new deed, Stinging Blow! And Guardian's Ward, too, apparently. Wondrous. Ooh, I got an Iron Collar. Ah, yes, that's right. That is a quest item. See, it starts the quest colored. Yes, 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 I know. Yes, I want to bring it to Overloss. And go away, deed bestowed. I know about deeds. <laughs> Yes, if you complete deeds, you'll be able to, um, here, let me pull up the deed thing really quick just to show you all. But here's the deeds. If you complete the deed, you get some turbine points, and occasionally you will get things that, um, 
So you give you reputation with different factions, such as Thorin's Hall for everything in Ered Luin. You can get titles, things like that. That's what that's all about. Now, let's see. And on my mini-map here, since I have the tracking mine skill activated, you can see where the nearest mine is. It shows it as that little green thing. It shows that for any crafting thing, no matter what you're using as your crafting profession. So if he was looking for wood or something, it would show that icon too if I was searching for wood type of deal. But there we go, I just got some copper. And now I need to find myself some veil flies. Come on, Thanalos. Let us look for veil flies, shall we? Where are some veil flies? Veil flies? Veil flies? Hello? I know that there's a bunch of them near Nenhilith, so I'm just going to head in that general direction, I think. Ah, there's a fly! There's a veil fly! Come on, Thanalos! Let's beat the bejeezers out of it! Yeah, you! Go away, veil fly pest! You are not welcome here! You do not belong! Okay, and I have another new deed. You get lots of new deeds when you're at an early level just because you're getting all the class deeds and stuff. Okay. Kill the veil flies! Yeah! Die, die, die! Yeah. Okay. And then more copper. Oh my goodness, Danalos is so lovely. <laughs> I made an elven man just so I could stare at him. I I'm not gonna lie. Ah. <laughs> Uh, I'm weird like that. Please don't judge me. Okay. Stupid wolf. Ugh. I do not like you. Go away. Quit trying to hurt me. You're insane. You think you can take on an elf with a sword, you silly, silly wolf. Oh yes, and the wolf crippled me, as you could probably tell from the fact he was going so much slower and it had like red around him type of thing. That just meant he got hurt by it. Alrighty. Then los. Ooh, excuse me. Ah, my neck is cracking. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, collecting copper. Ooh, and I got all sorts of other stuff too. That's nice. Okay. Now, let me see. I need to defeat fall creatures in Themgeler. Come here, Wolfie. You are apparently a fall creature. Because as you can see there, it's showing me what deeds I can do by killing that creature and what quests I can finish on it. And see, there's what it says about being crippled. Alrighty. Um, let's see, collecting that. And I'm going to be keeping the light hides that I get just because I can use them for his tailoring stuff once I have a forester tan them and make them into leather from being just hides. You slice him with your sword there, buddy. Excuse me. Okay, where is the- there is the- okay. Uh, where are more wolves and stuff? I swear I was supposed to get some sword or something from there. Do I not have that quest? Oh dear. <laughs> Am I in the wrong place? Am I crazy? I'm probably crazy, you guys. <laughs> oh goodness. I am probably crazy. Alrighty, where are some more wolves? Or, oh, I think I need to defeat all the wolves and stuff before I can get something from that shrine thingy majiggy. I think that's it. We'll find out, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. Alrighty, use your shield and your sword. Oh, I cannot get over how beautiful he is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop saying that kind of thing now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm too much. I'm too much. <laughs> Alright. Get him, Thanalos. There we are. Ah, yeah, now I can place the token upon the stone table. Alrighty, there we go. Place that there. Awesome. And now I need to get back to killing veil flies. Wonderful. Oh yes, and by the way, my Rohan steed that I have here, Mr. Windfoot, I'm gonna call him, cause I don't know if it's a male or female, but Windfoot sounds male, sounds like a male name to me anyways. But in any case, these 200 hit points that Windfoot has are a whole heck of a lot more than most mounts have. So he's a really, really nice mount, by the way. Cause most of the mounts that you start out with have about 100 
hit points instead of 200, so he's like twice as strong as most of them are. Because he's from Rohan, and Rohan is the place of the horse lords, so they have amazingly awesome horses. Okay, where the hay? Get back here, Veilfly. I want you. Hey. Who's she? She is a warden. Ah. I love my warden. <laughs> But I'm also dearly loving my guardian, Thanalos, of course. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Kill the veil fly. Kill the veil fly. Kill it, Thanalos. Thank you much, me. Alrighty. I am just going to be killing a couple more of these things. Let's see, there's one there. And I don't see any others around here, so I will be back when something makes Exciting is about to happen aside from killing a bunch of gigantic oversized flies <laughs> and then I will be back alrighty so I am now in the Vale of Nenhilith and I'm going to be talking to this dwarf here named Athel who is the friend of Averthal the missing elf well met friend he says nay I am still here waiting for Averthal he requested I meet him here at the Vale of Nenhilith and has yet to arrive I meant to enter the Vale myself, but the elves bade me not enter, and being that Averthal is not here to speak for me, I dare not risk angering them. I am sorry that I cannot be more help to you or Lord Cardivore. Come and stay a moment, friend. It is not like Averthal to be late, at least not without sending word, nor to put aside his usual habits. Still, he has spent much time in contemplation in recent days. When Averthal desires solitude for quiet thought, he spends much time beneath the white trees in this vale. Perhaps he is amongst them now, unbeknownst to anyone. Would you go there and find him? I would, of course, but I shall not defy the will of the elves. Make your way into the vale of Nenhalith and search for any signs of Averthal. I pray you find him hale and hearty, but if not, perhaps you will find some sign of him, even just his pack. Okay. And now I will lock that on again, because that's just simply what I do. That's just a habit I have. Alrighty, and now to do these quests. How can I be of service? He knows the handiwork, goblins. What Stay a moment. Woo. Alrighty, you can read that if you want to. Alright. Now Thanalos has the ability to use a bow if he has one equipped, which he currently does not. What can I do for you? But now he does. <laughs> At least he will as soon as I put it on him. Where's the bow? There's the bow. Beautiful. Now he can use his let fly skill. Awesome. Which is not the strongest skill ever, but it's something. It's something. Alrighty. Might you spare a moment of your time? Alrighty. And now I need to earn the favor of these other two elves that are to my right. They are over here. Stay a moment. Alrighty. You can go ahead and read that. Mind my words, traveler. And same with that. Alrighty. And in case you haven't noticed, I usually just read the quests that are for the epic. The rest of them I'll just scroll through so you guys can read them if you want to, but if you don't want to, you don't have to, of course. Alrighty. Now I need to kill this horrible wolf that is trying to eat me. That's not very nice, wolf. I assure you, elf does not taste good. Especially this elf, because he's super stringy, I'm sure, because he's all muscle. <laughs> ah, jeez. Alrighty. Get him! There we go. We have killed two wolves so far. Now I'm collecting some lumber to get um, wood for the casks. For the wine. Oh my gosh, where's another wolf? Oh, there's the wolf. Hi, wolf! There's wolves everywhere, oh my goodness. And you may have noticed that there's a deed for killing a certain number of wolves in Arid Lewin, which is this general region. I'm going to press the M key. M is for monkey. <laughs> or map, in this case. And here is Arid Lewin. Here's the region of Arid Lewin. And on the map, you see this little red arrow thing right here? That is where your character currently is. And this map is absolutely huge. This is just Arid Lewin. And then there is Eridor. And there's all of Middle Earth, if that gives you any perspective. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> we'll be looking at the map a fair bit as, during the course of the game, so. There we go. 
here. Get the wolf. Get the wolf. Okay. Poor Thanalos keeps getting wounded. Yeah. Alrighty. Only rotten timbers in that one, unfortunately. I'm going to shoot at that wolf. Alrighty. Now I'm going to use my sword and shield to defend myself against this crazy animal. Apparently Smokey defeated the Howling Grey Wolf. That's probably a lore master's pet. I'm going to be guessing there. <laughs> probably. Oh, yep. Yep, it is. See? Smokey's a bear. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's too good. <laughs> that's great. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. But let's see. Another wolf. Die, wolf. Attack with shield. There we go. Now let's see if we have any good lumber here. And apparently not. That's annoying. Oh dear, I hear a cat fight outside. Not good. Oh jeez. Alrighty. Ooh. There we go. Let's get more of this wood. Not good. There was some good wood in there. Good wood. Good wood. Good wood. <laughs> Oh goodness, there are so many wolves in the Vale of Nenhilith. I have a tendency to come here just to do the wolf killing deed here, wolf slaying or whatever. Just because there's so many of them and they respawn pretty quickly. Which, if you don't know what respawn means, it basically means they come back in like no time at all. <laughs> okay. Let's get some more lumber. Oh good, there was some good wood in there. There's a dead goblin. That cannot possibly be a good sign. Uh, what did Everthal encounter when he came into this glade? Hmm. Let's see if we can find him or his pack now. There goes Smokey the Bear. <laughs> oh gosh. I love how creative some people get when they name their pets when they're a lore master and stuff. It's fantastic. <laughs> hmm. I just see another wolf, but wait, there's something with, like, glowy things over it. And, oh no, it seems to be an elf satchel. I'll have to get it once this wolf has perished. There we go, it perished. Alrighty, let's take a look at this satchel. Oh, another dead goblin. See, there's the goblin. Uh-oh. That can't be a good sign, you guys. That cannot possibly be a good sign. There's a bunch of dead goblins everywhere in Everthal's sack. Not good. Not good. I'm gonna get up on little Windfoot, who's not really little. Why did I say little? I do not know. <laughs> oh my goodness. I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. Hello, Smokey the Bear and Smokey's owner. Okay. Time to talk to these two. Megovanen. Megovanen. Megavonin. Okay. Stay a moment. Already, I earned their favor. Megavonin. Okay, and that is a better helmet than the one I have because, as a guardian, Thanalos doesn't really need to worry about agility, but vitality is important because it increases his maximum morale. Now to talk to the dwarf and let him know I found Everthal's pack. Greetings, traveler. He says, This is Everthal's pack, I am certain. I fear that something untoward has befallen my friend. Please take this to Cardivore and tell him that I will do whatever I can to help him find my friend, his son. Alrighty, I'm going to very quickly go talk to Cardivore and then I will be back. Well, I'm actually going to be talking to these elves here first, really, really, really quick. And greetings to you. And to you. Greetings, friend. Will you lend me your ear? Alrighty, there you go. Excuse me, Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to be finishing the quests that are here in Kalendim, and then I'm going to be ending the video. Okay, Cardivore is down this direction. 
in front of the sea. Ah, there's Lanian. Hello, Lanian. Hail, friend, and well met. You are welcome. Okay. Now to talk to Cardivore. The shadow is on my spirit. This is Everthal's satchel. I am certain of it. Do you see this pattern on the side? Everthal stitched that himself long ago. And you say there were goblins among the ruins? You bring me fell tidings, Stenelos. You are sure there were no other signs of Everthal. Some sign that my son might have been hiding nearby, safe from the goblins, but too far away to reclaim his satchel? Nay, that is a weak hope, and I must not trust to it. The goblins have brought down my son, my Everthal. That is the only answer. Will you stay a moment and learn of my troubles? The goblins have slain my son, Thanalos, and for that we will sweep them from Arid Lewin. No goblin will take as much as three steps into these lands before we are there to greet him with sword blade or arrowhead. Go forth and slay goblins wherever you find them and cry aloud the name of Everthal. I would have the fall creatures know whose doom has come upon them. While you were gone, word came to me that Lemiel's vineyard has been defiled by goblins led by a vile creature named Pamperosh. Seek out Pamperosh and his minions and slay them in the name of Everthal. Lemiel's vineyard lies northwest of Kelendim. Okay, we're gonna do that in the next part. But first I'm going to be talking to Thinglair, or whatever his name is, and then we'll end it. <laughs> there he is. Hey, dude. Greetings to you. Okay, and I'm going to take these. You may be of service to me. I may be of service to you, huh? You're kind of creepy, but I like you anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh, the elves are a little bit creepy on occasion, but I love them. Alrighty, um... Oh my god, those look stupid. Okay, um, I'm going to be equipping cosmetically the other ones. See, there we go, because those look a lot less dumb to me. <laughs> Alrighty. So, you guys, I'm going to be ending this part here. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. In the next part, we're going to be continuing the epic and finding out what has happened to Everthal and killing evil goblins and whatnot. And I will be seeing you all in the next video. 